What can women do if sex is painful? A new study concludes that 7% of women feel pain during sex. Here are some of the causes and some possible solutions. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Q Facts Tips and Tricks and hit the bell icon. Pain during intercourse is a troubling secret for many women. They might have intercourse about as often as other couples do but hide the pain from their partners. Many never speak to a doctor. Others get brushed off when they seek help. The doctor might do an examination and say, there's nothing wrong. Maybe you need more lubricant, clinical psychologist Natalie Rosen, an assistant professor at Dalhousie University, in Halifax, Canada, told Healthline. But using more lubricant won't cure the pain. The truth is, you can get relief from treatment and counseling, and telling a partner is also a good place to start. Rosen and other researchers reported that communication on this issue improves sexual satisfaction for both people. You might change your sexual repertoire and also ultimately find intercourse less painful. Painful sex is common pain can occur at any age. It may also come and go. In a study released earlier this year, 7.5% of nearly 7,000 sexually active women in the UK said they had had pain during sexual intercourse within three months prior to the study. For about 2%, the pain occurred, very often, or always, over at least six months, and was a source of distress, the study team reported this year in BJOG, an international journal of obstetrics and gynecology. The estimates of how many women experience pain during intercourse over their lifetime range from 10 to 28 percent. Pain after menopause The drop in estrogen levels brings on vaginal dryness and other symptoms in about half of all postmenopausal women. Vaginal dryness can even make riding a bike unpleasant. Yet it's common for women to suffer without seeking help. Many women greet this with resignation, said Dr. Mary Jane Minkin, an OBGYN, and clinical professor at Yale School of Medicine in Connecticut. Researchers have found that from 44% to 78% trusted source of women with vaginal dryness say that intercourse was painful. Minkin told Healthline that a first move might be to try the product replens. If that doesn't work, she recommended speaking with a doctor about other treatment options. Many women are afraid that taking estrogen is a cancer risk. But very little estrogen enters the bloodstream if you use a method that delivers the hormone directly to your vagina, Minkin explained. The options include a cream, injectable tablets, and a ring that dispenses the medication slowly over three months. If you decide to treat other menopause symptoms, you may opt for a pill or patch. There are also two non-estrogen options for dryness, a tablet you swallow called Osfina ospemifine, and a vaginal insert called Interosa prosterone, which arrived in U.S. pharmacies nationwide last week. Choosing among any of these is a matter of personal preference, Minkin said. Painful vulva even without dryness, a woman may have pain in their vulva, the external part of the female genitals. When the pain has no obvious cause, it's known as vulvodynia. This condition occurs, on average, around the age of 30, in 3 to 14 percent of women. Provoked vestibulodynia PVD, is the most common form of the condition in premenopausal women. It causes a sharp or burning pain that occurs near the entrance to the vagina when it is pressed. This condition may also cause some women feel pain the first time they insert a tampon. In other women it can come from sitting a long time or wearing tight pants, or even sometimes without any pressure or touch. According to the National Vulvodynia Association researchers have speculated about a range of causes, including weakness in the pelvic floor, hypersensitivity to the yeast common in that area, candida, or various kinds of nerve damage. The condition begs a serious question, why do people experience pain so differently? Thanks for watching Q Facts Tips and Tricks and hit the bell.